Hello, I'm Paulo Shakarian, CEO and co-founder of Syracon. Thank you for taking the time today. We have a really important topic to discuss. And that is the recent uh, attacks and data theft done by the Russian hacking group Cozy Bear, also known as APT29, in order to steal COVID-19 vaccine research. So undoubtedly by now, you've probably seen the recent news stories about what this group has attempted to do. And what I wanna to talk to you today is about the vulnerabilities that these Russian hackers used in order to try to steal this information. Here we have listed the four vulnerabilities that have been reported to use. Uh, this is viewed in the Syracon user interface. As you can see in the first scene column, we've been tracking threats against these vulnerabilities since mid to late 2019. And predictions that our platform has made about these vulnerabilities has actually occurred many months before this breach and even other previous uses of this exploit. You may want to check out our earlier video on the Citrix Vuln, for example, that we uh, posted back in May. You can see uh, further visualizations of how the threat has evolved by looking at this changelog graph where you see how the machine learning algorithm adjusted its assessment over time as new intelligence came in. Things like hacker conversations, proof of concept code, even use of the exploits in the wild, all of which predated Cozy Bear or APT29's uh, theft of that intellectual property. Now, why does this happen? These are relatively old vulns. It's simply put, the disclosure rate of software vulnerabilities is through the roof. Your vulnerability management team is probably overwhelmed to the point where they can not only uh, not uh, remediate everything, but they can't even analyze the vulnerabilities properly to make a decision. And that's why we see things like 60% of enterprises will admit to being breached due to known but unpatched vulnerabilities. So uh, I invite you to check out our FIT assessment for find ignored threats so you don't ignore these threats in the future. And we do this by enabling our customers to scale their analytical process and identify threats like the ones that Cozy Bear has used the other day. Uh, we are in multiple Fortune 500 companies. The FIT assessment will allow us to assess your enterprise vulnerabilities. All you need to disclose is the CVE numbers. We will give you two consultation sessions and seven day access to our platform. And the idea is, is we want to introduce you to this concept of finding and ignoring threats, show you the threats that you may have been ignoring and, uh, and get you interested in our technology. So thank you very much and please visit our site to register to find your ignored threats.